they both plead guilty. They get 30 years. But then in 2020, Southwest T gets out early because of his health condition and because of COVID and so forth. Uh, when he gets out, do you guys talk? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, 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 actually, I, I haven't talked to him in about a month. But, yeah, we talked. You know, I was, uh, I was over at his house the, um, uh, I believe the first week he got out. We chopped it up on his porch f- for three, four hours. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Of course. He's going to acknowledge, you know. Yeah, we had, we had a long talk, you know. And, and I think on that, the reason, you know, being like, you, you're you talking about he got out, okay. So he was blessed on, on that as far as, okay, that COVID thing. He was in there doing some shit, you know. I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, the facts to what 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 really went on, but uh, apparently he did his homework and and you know and he he used that motherfucking system that uh, was going on that COVID shit to get his ass out of that hole and he did okay and it and it him and Meech did different kind of time yeah. my opinion. I don't like I once again, I don't know what happened, what what in, but you know, when you you when you're doing time, you know, it it's based on how you do your time as well. They look at that. Okay. So Terry was blessed to get out. And 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 that's all I can say about that, you know? And I wish, you know, Meech was out, you know. That I'm looking for the day for him to be out, you know, but I think he's, I think he's coming up very soon. Yeah. I hope so too. Well, and then last year, 2021, the BMF TV series comes out and your character gets portrayed as someone named Pat, who's played by legendary actor, Wood Harris. Uh, when you watch the series and saw the way your character is portrayed, do you like it, hate it, or indifferent? <laughs> okay, I'm not much start off. I'm not gonna take nothing from 50 Cent because everything he do is great. But that was Meech's story. Okay. And I knew it was gonna be something it kinda I didn't think it was gonna be go way off a of base that it did. When Meech told, because I said this was back when they were just talking about about the series, and, and uh, it was uh, going to be a movie. This when it, when it first started off, it was going to be a movie, and I said I talked to, and this way me and Meech was corresponding, you know, uh, via text, um, off and on, and I asked him. I said, uh, "So man, so what's going on with this uh, BMF thing that's coming out?" He said, "Ed." I'm going to tell you, this is going to be my story. And I'm going to leave it like that. You got to remember, I raised these boys. I taught them this. I taught them the game. You know, game recognized game. And, you know, that's his story. He going to tell it. And the writers going to tell it the way they wanted to tell it to protect Meech as the uh, I don't know, the puppet master of of the show. Okay, I'm gonna put it like that. Maybe I didn't use the right word. I don't know. So be it. But that's how it is. And far as Noble Woods, man, you can't. T- he act, he, man. The shit was the show is hot. Okay, but him being Pat, like the shit he done and the shit that in the show that they portray Pat is, like the shit that they were saying that. Like he he said one I can remember one thing he said he's God I never talked like that okay um, the, it's just uh, some shit that he, he the, the things that Pat was doing Ed would never do okay I you know you know I owned the T, uh, uh, TCI limousine company back then okay and that's where my office was back then and like I told you. In uh, in the beginning of this interview, I didn't mix business. I was an organized person. 
I didn't have hoes in my motherfucking office and motherfuckers in my getting high and all that. That that wasn't me. Okay, so the shit is portrayed for people to be on the edge of their seat for it to get the motherfucking ratings for it to go on and on. So the story is 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 not reality. And too many people and the majority 90% of the people are young motherfuckers that think that shit really happened. That shit did not happen. That is a show on TV that is entertainment. That is, you know, you know, the show is hot, yeah, for entertainment reasons, but far as reality, that shit did not happen. Well, you ultimately left the drug game. And for 20 years, you've been working a regular job. You went into construction uh, and so forth. Um, during those 20 years, did you miss it? Did you want to dabble it. back in and <laughs> <laughs> make it. a few extra dollars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Miss it? I mean... I, yeah, I, well, I, I'd be stupid and motherfucker be like, motherfucker, stop if I say I didn't miss the money. Yeah, I miss the money, of course, you know, but <laughs> you don't know what I had to go through, okay, to get that money and to do the shit I did. I don't miss that at all, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I know... Hundreds of people out there, you know, w that wants to do this life or whatever. Okay, do that life. Okay, um, and uh, all the I know hundreds of people in BMF that went to jail. I'm I'm friends with with multiple BMF members right now. You know, so uh, I don't. What I say, yeah, kid, I motherfucker couldn't give me. A hundred bricks right now and say, Edie, get back in the game. We want you. Man, fuck you. You take them bricks somebody and give them to somebody else. Hey, <laughs> right, the shit ain't the same, man. The shit ain't oh, the yeah. same. Yeah, no, I mean, I I've interviewed so many people, you know, like Freeway Ricky Ross, who was out of the game, had already established a new business, and they just wanted to do just one more deal. Just yeah. one, one more, more deal. deal. You and know, then I'm that out. one more deal would have got you motherfucking thirty, <laughs> right? And he got life. He got life in prison for exactly. that one more deal, you which know? ultimately he was able to, to you know, to get out because you know he went through the law books and so forth. But mm -hmm. it's always that one more deal, right? That that well, gets well, you. You you, you hunger you. for that shit because you know the, the street, you know, <laughs> the street calls you. You don't call the streets, you know. You it brings you into that life. You, uh, I mean. You, 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 if you come from a uh, 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 poor structure, which uh, uh, Meech and Terry did, uh, uh, and they seen all that money, you know, I mean, the first motherfucking week that they was working for me, they seen so much money, it, you know, it, it, it just calls you, man. You know, when you young. And and, and, and and you know you see motherfuckers with these flashy cars, the bling and all that. Oh, I want, oh man, that's who I want to be, and all that. That you know, that's what you do. But like I said, man, I I wouldn't do it for life right now, man. I wouldn't do it for life. And you know, and and I think you know, just like the fit the fifty boys is it wasn't just Terry and Meach. The 50 boys was Terry Meach and Derek D. Mm -hmm. Meeks. Okay. Right. It was three 50 boys. It was never two 50 boys. It was always those three. And I'm talking about the original, the real, for real, for real, 50 boys. Derek Meeks, Terry, and Meach Flannery. <laughs> 